today I will be demonstrating how to install a fog light stock and an intermittent wiper stock on a 2001 uh, base model CE Corolla that originally came with fixed wipers as well as a standard headlight stock without fog lights. The first thing you want to do is put your key in accessory mode um, and then turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the right. This will expose a black screw on the right side, on the left side which is hidden right now, and it will expose a screw um, underneath the steering wheel right here. Um, and that will let you detach this bottom cover underneath the ignition. It will take some prying and finagling to pop out the first time because it's pretty stiff. They don't want this part coming out on you when you're driving. Um, and then you should be able to pop off the top cover. But all this is is a Phillips head screw, so go ahead and remove that. Once you've removed the panels, you should be able to see all this exposed wiring next to the ignition right here. They're a bit of, it's a bit of a pain to pry off the panels all the way. You have to make sure that you get all the screws out at the same time. The most annoying one for me was up here next to the ignition through this hole. There's a small black self-tapping plastic screw that mounts onto <clears throat> this female portion of the top cover right here. And it was extremely annoying, I felt like I was going to break something and then I saw that there's this little screw down there. So make sure you get rid of this, you take out this screw before you actually break the steering uh, column cover and end up having it rattle on you every time you drive or needing to buy a new one. When you look on the white, on the headlight side, as well as the wiper side, there are two JS Phillips head screws, <clears throat> and on, the, on the other side they are holding in the stocks. Well, you want to be able to remove those, but you can't just yank it out because there's connectors underneath on the wiper side, as well as connectors on the headlight side. So you always want to remove these connectors first, you push in on the little um, white tab right there, um, squeeze in and pull out. Push in on the tab, squeeze in and pull out. And once you disconnect those, you can pull out the entire stock. Here I took out the headlight stock, this is the original Corolla one. It's very basic, it's off, on, um, a parking lights, signal lights, and what I'm going to replace it with is this headlight stock from a 97 to 01 Toyota Camry, I believe, uh, because this one has a, a dog leg in it, it has a little bend. Um, and as you can see, it's not quite the same as this, but my hand still reaches it fine. I'm, I'm not sure what the Camry steering wheel is like, but that's just the way it's shaped on here. Um, but the nice thing about this is that there's a little ring that controls the on off of the fog lights. Um, which I'm going to install, or which I have installed, but right now I just have a cheapo wiring kit. So what I did was I bought um, a relay, I'll put the part number in the description, um, and I plugged it into the terminal uh, down below. Um, the kick panel in here is probably going to be pretty tough to see, but it's up in here. Um, I'll post some better descriptions later. And basically this stock, um, it actually works perfectly. Um, the Toyota parts I suppose are like Legos. Um, as you can see over there, my parking lights are on, headlights are on, high beams are on. And, uh, when I turn the ring on the stock, Obviously, the fog lights don't light up right now, but you can hear the relay clicking, so that means there's power to it. And I will post a video later on how to install the fog lights themselves and connect them and retrofit them into the 2001 Corolla. Now you can see here I have removed um, this manual 
or fixed wiper stock. It simply had a mist cycle once, um, low and high, and it was kind of annoying me that there are no intermittent wipers, especially on those days where it's slightly raining or snowing. It's not too hard to require the low setting because that'll just squeak and wear out your wipers. Uh, but yeah, um, and also I, there's a model of this that has a basic intermittent stock where it's a fixed, I believe, four second interval. And that also wouldn't be worth paying the money for to upgrade to, in my opinion. So, what I did was I got this wiper stock. This is off of a uh, or 99, 98 through 2002 Corolla as well. However, the Camry stock will also work. So, if you get a column that has both this and this intermittent wiper stock, but from a Camry, both should still work. Um, according to the online forums, as well as my experience with testing out this headlight switch. So, as you can see now, I have to have the car on for this, but um, now when I pull, um, it mists and it activates the wipers once. Mists and activates the wiper just by pulling in once. It used to just mist and I would have to manually cycle up. Um, and now you can um, set it to intermittent. So it has its own little timer in there. And it goes just by itself. It's very nice. Um, it's an overlooked feature. Um, and it should come standard on these cars. But this was back in 2001. So, of course, most cars then didn't have all these creature comforts like they do today. Thank you very much for watching the video today, and hopefully it will let you gain some insight as to how to install a new fog light switch and wiper switch.